In April 2011, my dad was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. By that time, it was already too late and it had spread to the liver. Beginning of this year, they also found a brain tumor, which they were able to remove with radiation. When he was first diagnosed, they told him he only had six months to live without chemotherapy. And then they started chemo and they said he would have two years. And those turned out to be three great years. We've had lots of extra time, time in which we bought my first car together. I wanted a red one and he wanted a safe one and it turned out to be both so that worked out well. He had extra time to go on three more holidays with my mom and we've had so much time to say all the things that we've always wanted to say. I'm extremely grateful for the time that we've still had together. Even though it was really hard to see him suffer the last few months, he passed away Sunday night with my mom's hand in his, exactly as he wanted to, at home his favorite place in the whole world, without any IVs, needles, or doctors around him, just his family, um, which is what he wanted. I'm really grateful for the extra time that we've had, and from this I've also learned that it's really important to get medical checkups regularly and to appreciate what you have. So if you still have both your parents, give them both a hug, because you only got one pair. I wanted to share this news with all of you. I haven't talked about this once in the past three years, but I felt now was a time for a tribute, so here's a little montage to give you a glimpse of what a great guy he was. I think the footage can speak for itself, and I'm gonna let it do just that. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Just stop.
crystal a dream while I walk in the dark You're a memory now 